the, the question of the, the strike by the nurses and the doctors, particularly the one that happened at Parinyatwa yesterday, and I think there's been another one today at UBH, um, that is a, the exact expression of the corruption crisis that I speak to. You can't have a situation where Obadiah Moyo for the last you know, two, three weeks has been exposed for facilitating corruption, and yet that very same health minister is failing to pay the frontline workers in the COVID-19 fight. What that shows us is that the very human cost of corruption is on our doorstep. You then see the cars that are being bought by the Health Services Board. Again, that corruption finds expression in the poor priorities of these parastatals and public bodies. Instead of paying services, instead of paying health workers, instead of putting the money where it matters most uh, towards public services that would benefit the public, they're putting the money into their own pockets. It's the elites that are being served by the money that should benefit us. And we speak strongly against that. Uh, as uh, the MDC Alliance. And what we're saying is that Zach should be in the forefront of investigating that. They do absolutely nothing. They watch the sort of corruption and they do nothing about it. So we take strong exception to that and we call upon Zach, Zach to act. Uh, secondly, on the question of the security threats, we say that again, this is the distraction. These are the distractions that we continue to talk about. Whenever there's a flare up with a, with a revelation on the corruption, you see these strategies, they deploy armies. So instead of talking about the corruption, the COVID gate, the fact that they need to arrest people and pay back the money, we are then you know, stuck in talking about soldiers, stuck in talking about, oh, is there a coup happening? We then forget. But no, we will not be distracted. Because if there is a genuine change in the security situation, we know what the Constitution says about deploying the army. The president has to deploy the army and he has to report to parliament around why. If there's been a change in the lockdown status, that has to be reported. We were told that we're now at lockdown stage two. If that has changed, we have to be formally told. We cannot be told about that in some dodgy tweet, uh, in a ghost account by some famed government official. That's not the way sound public administration works. So we say that that is uh, an attempt again to distract the masses from this very important corruption issue. And we say no, pay back the, mon the money, arrest those responsible for corruption, and we want accountability. We don't want this issue forgotten about because what they're hoping for is that we forget about COVID gate. We're not going to forget. 